girl from Atlanta. Nani, na, na, na. Nani, you a star, girl. You will have it all. Booking flights around the world. Na, na, na. Na, na, na. Oh, Nani, you a star, girl. You will have it all. Go ahead and show it off. Na, na, na. Nani, nani, na, na, na. Hello, beaches from Tokyo, Japan. I swear to you guys, I have no idea what I'm saying in these clips. And that is the reason why I want to kind of give you guys an explanation for this Japan vlog. It is going to end up being almost like a visual vlog because I almost lost this footage for you guys. I was so excited to do this vlog. It was so unexpected. I ended up having almost two days in Japan, which is amazing for me. It's actually a very rare trip for me to be going on and also my first trip to Asia. I got home and tried to freaking edit this and I moved everything to my hard drive and thought I deleted it moved it to the trash, deleted the trash, and guys, I actually never moved it to my external hard drive. I spent almost a week recovering this Japan footage for you guys, just because I was like, there's no way your girl went to Japan and went to Asia and y'all were not going to see it. So I did recover all of this footage, which is why you can see it, but for whatever reason, getting it back from the trash it's corrupted so there's no sound but a win is a win you guys will at least get to see me in japan it's just going to be more of a visual vlog there are some clips that do have sound a lot of the videos do not have sound so i do apologize that that is how the video is going to go but hopefully you guys still enjoy it i was so excited for my first time in japan and i cannot wait for you guys to see everything that i did and everything i tasted you're just gonna hear my voice of me talking now because I have no idea what I was saying in these clips at the time and clearly looking like I'm stumbling over my words so maybe you didn't hear, need to hear it anyway but all right guys I'm gonna get into my Japan vlog hopefully you guys enjoy my trip to Tokyo Japan insane 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 As my snipers hit their marks And your guards fall down From a rifle to the heart Like clap, clap Let them fall slow I know you had your fears You can let them all go And most women are motivated So I act accordingly But this is so refreshing That it means a little more to me Dedicating time When I really can't afford to be I'll provide protection If you open up the door for me Couple stairs, couple texts Couple dates, couple I think that we're ready When I got there I ended up meeting this girl Girl that you can kind of see in frame I was a little embarrassed trying to set up my tripod but then she ended up talking to me and she was so sweet she did speak English she was from California and she was visiting um, she could speak Japanese which is kind of nice <laughs> I was kind of jealous of that but she was so sweet she was asking me like about content and making content and traveling and I explained your girl's a flight attendant um, but yeah she was really really sweet and we ended up talking pretty much the entire time we stayed in there all right so the sushi i ended up getting guys i still dream about the sushi till this day honestly if you go to japan this is the one place i say you have to go to number one on the list i got salmon and the second one is 
it's called taiko taco it's um t-a-k-o and it is octopus oh guys insane how fresh the sushi was so this white fish that i'm showing y'all was the octopus y'all if you know anything about me i love sushi but octopus sushi is my number one like favorite sushi to eat even when i go out here look at my face i was like oh my like i instantly realized how fresh y'all saw i immediately grabbed another one <laughs> it was so good After those first pieces, I was like, yeah, baby, we should be sitting here for a minute. I was like, I'm about to order everything. And then I ended up ordering really some more of the same things because I am just a girl who, once I like something, it is it for me. But the sushi here was amazing. I ended up eating so much here, but extremely inexpensive, y'all. Extremely inexpensive and so good. But then the season changed. You can see that the process slowly went to just us ordering rolls back to back. As soon as I ate my rolls, I grabbed the menu again. This is because they wanted you to order about two to four rolls at a time. I tried to give him a lot of rolls because I was like, I just want to eat one of everything. <laughs> and he was like slow. They were making them as um, it's ordered. So I guess like made to order. It was extremely good. The one that I just ate was scallop. It was like a seared scallop. So good. And me and the girl were eating the same rolls. So we were talking about how good it was. <laughs> I feel kind of how I feel like when I was in Amsterdam, like if everybody else is walking and that is what the um, people in the area do, then that's what you do. Like in Amsterdam, everybody rode bikes, so I rode a bike. But I will talk to y'all in 21 minutes when I get to the skincare place because I cannot walk and talk for 20 minutes without losing my breath. <laughs> but that sushi, amazing. Y'all, I'm not made the walk because I keep on looking at all these people crossing the street thinking that this is like Shibuya crossing. I feel like this whole area is. There's like so many bodies of people like way busier than Times Square and they're just all crossing the street at the same time in like massive amount. I'm only like 12 minutes away. I feel like I made no progress, but I'm currently at 7-Eleven y'all see and I heard that 7-eleven was the place to go and get like snacks or like little things I already at the last store bought some strawberry Kit Kats so I'm gonna see if I can find any other snacky things inside of the 7-eleven because um, I want to bring home souvenirs and things for people to try so let's see what's in here
Well, I think I found the thing that I was looking for. I keep seeing everybody try these on like TikTok and on other people's vlogs. And I think it's just like a seaweed wrap with some sort of meat inside. Oh, they have red salmon. That's a red salmon. <laughs> they like different ones, so I'm gonna try one. After quite a bit of walking, this is when I made it to Skinaholic. I had found it on this back street and I just used Google Maps to get there, but pretty much I wanted to go to this place because they were popular and known for selling Korean skincare. Um, there's Skinaholic and there's one other one, you have to Google it, but I was here for the Korean skincare and your girl was gonna rack up. And if you guys see here, I froze because if you watch my Korean skincare vlog, y'all know where that's from. <laughs> You'll see I slowed down on the bottom because I also have that yellow one, but things here were significantly cheaper than what they sell on Amazon. I'm about to head and get ramen. Right now I'm just enjoying the views. It's insane. I was just walking by and I found this claw store. It's literally like a claw art.
so I was inside of the ramen place and I realized that it was like you sit next to people like people were directly next to me um which actually kind of made eating alone feel less lonely i was explaining everything that they had gave me um fun fact about japan it is actually considered rude to rub your chopsticks together you know like when you break them and you rub them together uh because it's like an insult to the restaurant almost to be like you have cheap chopsticks and honestly being here everywhere had great quality chopsticks none of them were like cheap or like janky or anything. Um, but yeah, I was over here enjoying my food. This is my ramen. I ended up having like a combo where they had ramen and fried rice. You can see there's somebody literally directly next to me on both sides. I really was cracking myself up with the noodles just cause I was thinking so much about it. Cause I heard that you're supposed to slurp noodles here and I just couldn't do it. I started biting the noodles. Then I started thinking, oh my God, is it rude to bite the noodles? It was actually extremely flavorful and really, really good. But on my second bite, you can see, <laughs> I literally go in and I'm like, do I slurp them? Like, is it rude? So I'm literally like soft slurping. You guys, thankfully, because it's muted, don't have to hear that. But I did start slurping. I was like going back and forth. It was amazing though. The broth was like really, really rich and thick. It wasn't like watery which is really nice. I wasn't really hungry because I'd been eating on things all day long and I realized that like partially the way through eating, but everything tasted really good. The fried rice was really good. I was looking at the girl next to me to see what she got. <laughs> but the fried rice is probably my favorite part, but I think I just like carbs. y'all i am back in the room and baby i'm so tired <laughs> i am so tired it is nine almost ten o'clock at home i don't know what time it is at home right now it is eight in the morning at home and it is 9 p.m here um i'm just i'm tired i want to wake up first thing in the morning i kind of want to go to this market and i heard that you want to get there bright and early it's not breakfast food at all it's all like random things like um is it called tonglu the where the fruit is like covered in like the hard shell like um all kinds of like really unique like foods are there to try and obviously y'all know when i travel we trying food that's what i'm here for but i want to show y'all a little haul because i'm gonna hop in the shower and i'm going to bed but i want to show y'all the um korean skincare that i got from skinholic um this was the most money i spent today y'all everything i'm gonna be honest everything was very inexpensive today that i bought i'm gonna show y'all really how much money i spent today because i really did not spend that much money at all i really wanted to get um some good skincare things and I'm in Japan. I don't know the next time I'm going to come to Japan. I thought I was going to come here for my birthday, but I think that it gave me the fix that I needed and now I want to go somewhere else for my birthday. I'm going to be out here in these streets again. The things that I got from the uh, Skinholic, I spent $50.27. Y'all, that sushi, all that sushi I ate was $13.28. And that was the best sushi I've ever had, like, in my life amazing um the two bags of kit kats were three dollars and 28 cents i'm gonna show y'all those in a minute pretty much what i was gonna say is everything was under 15 dollars that i bought today like literally everything um most things were under 10 dollars um so really really inexpensive here but i ended up getting two bags of the strawberry kit kats um i'm probably gonna split these with my mom and then i got someone else them as a souvenir so i got two bags of strawberry kit kats and i feel like they're gonna be so good i'm so excited um i got a bag of these pizza flavored chips so yum maybe i should try the kit kats on camera should i 
I just, um, are they like, I think they're individually wrapped. Kit Kats. <gasps> Let's see. Is it super pink? Oh my God, it looks like it's gonna taste so good. This lighting is not the best. Oh my gosh. It smells like the most strawberry thing you can think. I don't even know. It smells exactly how I think a strawberry Kit Kat would smell. Oh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. Oh my God. I wasn't expecting that. So, first bite. Smooth, smooth, smooth. And all of a sudden, you get punched in the face. And it's like, it starts to get like a really deep strawberry taste. Like when you're eating freeze dried strawberries that kind of like salty, but really, really strawberry flavor. These things are good. <laughs> I don't know how to open it. I might just go and get a bunch of Kit Kats tomorrow. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. When I get off camera, I'm gonna figure out everything I'm doing tomorrow. But I got those Kit Kats. Obviously I went to Skinholic. I got the low pH good morning cleanser. This was super inexpensive. I think it was like $8. On Amazon, it is more expensive, um, but I already use this. I already know what it's like. It's really good, I ran out of it. If y'all watch my Korean skincare haul, this is the cleanser I was using. I double cleanse. The oil that I use, um, they actually have that there as well as like um, the cleansing milk version of the oil I have. If you watch my Korean skincare haul or my like skincare video, you know like the things I use. I still use all those same things. So um, I went ahead and got a second of this because I know I already like and use it. Uh, this was the actual most expensive thing that I got. It was this and one other thing, but I got Volcanic BH Pore Cleansing Foam. Y'all, this looked like it was gonna help so much. I feel like the BHA uh, pore cleansing, like the biggest thing with my skin, like I love my skin, y'all, I have to say. I feel like I have the prettiest skin. I don't have dark marks. I don't have any type of like major skin thing. I don't get acne. The biggest thing that I have is pores. <laughs> and it's really hard getting rid of them. So I figure if I get something that is more focused on pores, I can like get a really good like skincare routine down. My skincare routine that I have now works really good. I will say, what is it? I was about to say Paul Mitchell. That's like a hair company. The uh, gray exfoliating toner that I use. I cannot think of the name of it right now. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Y'all have seen it in my Korean skincare haul. I feel like that is the main thing that helps me when I am like with my skincare in regards to my pores. But I'm really hoping that this like cleansing foam, and I think I'm gonna start double cleansing with these two rather than the oil that I have or and just use the oil to like take off my makeup I think it's gonna do really well and then the other thing that I got was a green tea seed hyaluronic cream they had a tester out this thing was so good they had uh, a serum and they had the cream but I felt like um, I tend to use more of my face creams than I do of my serum. I still have the same snail mucin serum that I have. They actually still, ha they had that too. Um, but I still use the same snail mucin serum and I still have the first, first bottle that I had. You don't use a lot of serum because it's just a base for your uh like face cream or your moisturizer so um i don't use that much of it i would much rather have a cream so i ended up getting this i'm just excited to try these like very targeted like korean skincare products but this is the one that i got and then i got two face masks these face masks um obviously the korean sheet mask everybody knows they're amazing they do really well um so i ended up getting um the collagen gel mask and it says rose jelly you can barely see because it's like you can barely see it but um yeah i got a collagen one and then i got an intense face mask this one says sia CICA peptide I don't know but I was really looking at the bottom it says that it helps the skin's moisture barrier and I think I'm gonna wear one of these on the plane tomorrow because we got like a full four almost five hours of rest and um your skin gets so dry on the plane so all of those are my skincare products that I got I'm so freaking excited it just makes me want to go to Korea and do like a full like spa face like facial and everything and i know that like i can't get into it but i know the place to go and i want to do it so um comment if y'all want to see that because i really might fly to seoul and just freaking pick up a bunch of korean skincare and body products and go get like a facial 
and go to like a Korean body spa. I just feel like that'd be really fun. So um, yeah, so those are things that I got from Skinholic. Y'all know I went to 7-Eleven and got the um, little snack triangle. It's supposed to be like rice and then it has salmon, um, I guess salt, and then it has like a seaweed wrap on the outside. Baby, I'm not even hungry. Like I have no appetite whatsoever. So I'm not gonna eat that right now. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Um, I also got some mandarin oranges, which if I don't eat any of these, I'm just gonna eat them on the plane because it's like a nice little like snack but got some mandarin oranges and then I got some strawberries now these I'm about to try because I have heard really good things about Japanese strawberries I wanted to try the Japanese strawberries they come with like the little stem still on it I don't know mmm it's weird because they do kind of taste different it almost tastes like candy Maybe everything's just better here. Did I just say I wasn't hungry? <laughs> Amazing, delicious, great, fantastic. I'm gonna put that in the fridge with a little seaweed wrap. The very last thing I got, I just went into the store when I got to the hotel and got a Coke. They had like a little convenience store. Um, and my Coke is even in Japanese. <laughs> oh my God, I just realized they have a DVD player in here. Wow, vintage. But when I went in there to go get the Coke, um, I saw these little mochi balls. I don't even think I'm gonna eat a whole one, but I was like, I really want to try it and it wasn't very expensive. I think it's like 100 yen, 64 cents for this. The reason why I got it is because I love texture things and guys look, it's like, it doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like just chewy sugar. But anyway, that's everything I got y'all. That's my little haul. I said I was done. <laughs> I'm talking too much y'all, I'm out. I had a good day. I'm excited for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm about to get some rest. I'm about to shower. I was taking lots of like cute Polaroids. I just love the thought of a Polaroid. Like my future kids will look at this and be like, this is my mom in Japan. Ah. I'm gonna pop one of these Ali sleep gummies. Oh, I forgot to say, um, I got my mom chopsticks. But yeah, that's the last thing. Good night, love you. See you in the morning. Morning beaches! I got a little bit more in the spirit today. I tried to get a little cuter today. It is actually 80 degrees and I thought it was gonna be a lot colder, uh, but I do have tattoos and I know in like Asian culture, tattoos are not really like, they're not really a good thing. So um, I do have my tattoos covered and that's kind of why I wore long sleeves. But yeah, it's my outfit today, going out, going to the market. Let's head out and let's begin our day because we don't have that long today, so peace. Two seconds later, y'all, I'm over here looking up the place to go, um, the market I want to go to, and it's Takuji Fish Market. It's four miles away and 34 minutes by train. Yesterday, I did a lot of walking, um, so I'm assuming the train is gonna be the best bet, and I didn't realize it was so far away. The girl said that she got there at 9.30, and it was already packed, and it was already a line, and it's currently 8.15, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just go there first. Um, walking is two hours, so we're not we're not walking. We're gonna go ahead and head there, and yeah, a day of exploring Japan. Walking, y'all, and this guy was so helpful. He was actually like on, like just running and uh, working out, but he told me, um, I was trying to figure out where the train was, and I feel like I passed it, so, he ended up showing me exactly where I was supposed to go. So unfortunately guys, it only got part of the sound so it cut off, but I was explaining to you guys about the transit card. A guy explained to me how to get it. That you pretty much go in your Apple wallet and you hit transit card and the transit cards will pop up and Japan was actually the first ones on there for me. And you can use any of the three, but he recommended using this one and you just add money and that's how you get on the train. He said it costs about, um, 200 yen um, going to different stops and he's like the it goes up the further that you go uh, the place that I'm going is only 30 minutes away uh, but he told me he was like you have like two seconds to scan or people are gonna be behind you and they're gonna be annoyed and <laughs> I was like it sounds like New York <laughs> it sounds like New York so I think this is it somebody's going down so I'm assuming this is the train station like so freaking nervous it's a dollar 28 so dollar 28 arrives not bad And the sound had gone out again, guys, but I was showing you guys, look at how beautiful their actual train station is. It was literally so quiet, so clean. It literally was like immaculate. You could probably lick the floor. Roach isn't here or nothing. <laughs> I'm not the
something just to hear how they talk Back to four and no, you should hear how they talk He might be Mr. Track and Field, but I done ran through them all Then that nigga played the fool, just to watch how it ball I ain't never home for no, but you pull up when I call All the hood they come respect me, the strippers wanna sit me Your friends don't drip me, now we mad because you let me alone So I ended up making it to the outdoor fish market and as you can see it was already packed it was like 9 30 but the fish market pretty much consists of all these different little shops if you go here I definitely recommend bringing cash I did not have any cash and I didn't get cash until way way later in this video and then I ended up um, getting the cash and the lines were insane so definitely if you go early and get cash um, the lines were absolutely insane at nine in the morning um, but I was like let's get in here and of course we're starting with sushi this sushi all it was all tuna and it pretty much was like a very fatty tuna a medium tuna and a lean tuna guys I dream about this I know I keep talking about this but I have not I've literally eaten so much sushi since I've came back from Japan and nothing compares to the quality of fish that they have the quality of sushi that they have I cannot wait to go back I'm definitely not gonna go while working and I plan on eating my weight in sushi because it was absolutely amazing So I started with the very fatty tuna. Guys, you can tell by my reaction. This is the single most amazing thing I have ever eaten in my life. I was stunned. I, yeah, it hit me. I was like, wow. This one was the lean one, but I was still stuck on how good the fatty one was. It was absolutely amazing. I had never had tuna sushi before prior to this. The lean one was really good, but it did not hit the same way that the fatty one did. Now I'm sure the calories are really high, but I didn't care. <laughs> this one was the medium fatty tuna, which is also really good. Maybe I just like all the things that have bad stuff in it, but it was so good. Y'all, I, I literally think about this moment and I'm so glad I have it down. Look at my face amazing i literally could not believe that sushi could taste this good they also give you complimentary matcha tea which i feel like i got everywhere matcha green tea and then i went and got this wagyu it was they pretty much had like wagyu a lot of meat they had a lot of meat you could grill they had um abalone they had shrimp they had octopus which is what i got so good um i ended up getting some wagyu beef as well as the octopus I know this freaks out some people, but I actually really like octopus. This, I realized in the moment, was a very good quality of beef that everybody loves. Everybody seems to really love Wagyu. I don't think I'm a fan. I, it's, I literally said so-so because it is such a fatty cut of beef. I've had it three times now and I'm just not a fan. Octopus, amazing. I love octopus. The texture might freak some people out. Obviously it looks really weird. I'm literally eating baby octopus. The flavor is amazing though. Octopus is just really good. Um, Wagyu, I'm realizing I do not like. So there was this hot sauce on the table and it pretty much was like, I guess a famous chef. I think I cut it out the video, I can't remember, but it was a famous chef, I guess, in his hot sauce. So I was like, maybe I can put that on the beef to make it taste better. I folded it up so it wouldn't touch my lips. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, that's hot, <laughs> that's hot. But it actually did make it taste a little better. I don't think I'm ever gonna eat Wagyu again. I, I, I get it, everybody loves it. I just don't think I'm a fan. Then I started exploring they had a bunch of little shops where you could buy different things to bring back. I was actually really wanting to buy some things here. I ended up seeing these little crunchy crabs, which I saw all over TikTok. I have tried them since, but I was not able to get them because again, I did not get cash until way later in this video. You guys can see this is around 10 o'clock and it's still crazy packed. But they had oysters, they had like a little grill. And I really wanted to try the shrimp here. I was like, ooh, grilled shrimp would be so good. And they said they only serve it raw for the um, oyster and then the shrimp. And I was like, that's crazy. Then I saw all these strawberries. Now this is where I really regretted not having any cash. Look at how deep red 
these strawberries were and after already tasting how amazing they were i really wanted to get like a few packs of these and it was cash only and i didn't have any cash at this point and there were, the atm was so far so i literally didn't get to try any of these and my heart is still breaking that's why i'm like i have to go and redo japan but i did end up finding tonglu which you know anything about is the frozen um grapes and then it's covered in like the sugar look at my face y'all and that also was my first time having a frozen grape it was so good and also i didn't realize how good frozen grapes were until that moment and i realized why everybody loved them because before i was like they're probably disgusting then I ended up finding this matcha stand. This is what I was most excited for, guys. I love matcha, and I heard this is like some of the best quality matcha you can get in Japan, and I was so excited. I know there's like a lot of different um, other shops that they have, but the quality of the matcha, you can see how dark the matchas were. So good, and the flavor is not super bitter. Theirs tastes a lot smoother. It definitely still tastes like grass. Um, I heard somebody say, oh, it doesn't taste like grass in Japan. It definitely still tastes like grass, but it just is a lot smoother and it's a lot nicer. I think the flavor is a lot better um, in their matcha. After I got my drink, I was walking around and I found this little shop that served orange soda with a literal orange. I didn't end up getting one. I ended up going to this other shop, which was mochi. They had different strawberry mochis with different fillings in them. And I think I got a, just a strawberry, strawberry mochi. Um, I didn't even want to put this on camera, y'all, because I was showing it to y'all. And when I bit into it, there was so much powder on my face. I was like, I didn't even know. So I was walking around like that because I had no mirror. So I just walked around with powder on my face. Exactly like y'all see in this clip. Pretty much for a good 15 minutes. <laughs> then I ended up finding strawberry tonglu, which I was so excited about. But it was actually way too sweet. It was extremely sweet because the strawberries are already sweet. And then putting sugar on top. It was way too much for me. I actually ended up throwing it in the trash. <laughs> So when I left the fish market, I ended up walking around and I wanted to go to the grocery store. Actually, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the pictures I took on that street. But the grocery store was so cute. This is the name of it. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not going to try it. It had different floors with different things on them. I did explore all of them. Um, they didn't really want me filming in there, so I had to like sneak. Um, but I ended up getting a bunch of stuff, which I'll show you guys later. I did end up going to the mall and they had a lot of cute stuff, but it was very small. So I just ended up walking around looking at the other things that they had. At this point, I'm back in my room. I was showing you guys, I got a green tea for my mom. This, you can't see, but it was real wasabi that I got from my best friend. I ended up getting some Pockies from that same grocery store, um, as well as some taco Doritos. I was like, what the heck? I ended up getting steak Cheetos <laughs> and y'all. I went a little OD on the strawberry Kit Kats, but I was like, I need them. I need them. I need them. I need them. I got cookies and cream as well, as well as um, cookies and cream covered uh, freeze dried strawberries, which I have eaten. Amazing. Also got some matcha Kit Kats. That was all the footage I got before I left Japan. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I love you. Small world with big dreams, bad girl with big things, Nani you the drip queen. Elevate your big deal. Nani na na na. Top girl from Atlanta. Nani na na na.